And sleep your update. Do you want fries with that? <laughs> Sorry, That's I right. It's time for the Flippy Update. Flippy is our colloquial name for the disembodied robot arms that are taking our jobs, enslaving our children, and flirting with our spouses. We use talking about Flippy as a way to explore all the new, fun, and exciting ways that robots are taking over the world. Now there's nothing we can do about it. Nice short one here, but ties in with the amphibians and uh, everything else. This is coming from golftoday.ae. A.E., where is that? Is that this Russia. Is not Australia? Putin's building. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, the headline here, Russia's new amphibious marine robot can stay at sea for a year, comma, carry drones. Ooh. Gulf Today report. Scientists at Russia's Astrakhan University have invented a marine robot that can stay at sea for 12 months, allowing it to track vital resources. The creators indicated that the robot will help monitor biological resources as well as carry drones, besides operating under the surface of the water. So you've got on the water, under the water, and in the sky guns. Mm, all three they added that the robot... Yes, a full full spectrum dominance. They added that the robot is fitted with a power sail wing, which allows it to remain in the sea autonomously for up to 12 months, and that its surface is equipped with solar cells. According to Russia Today, ooh, Putin, <laughs> robots can monitor biological resources, such as monitoring the movement of certain types of fish. As well as monitor. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they're building it for. <laughs> you know, Russia, when they Love spend billions of dollars on an autonomous robotic vessel, it's just to keep track of fish, as well as monitoring and studying biomass at any point in the global ocean. The global ocean. The global ocean. The robot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The mono ocean. Yeah. Uh, the robot can also monitor the surface of the water from above and monitor all operations underwater. Mm. Don't, don't even try it, submarines. Dot this is, is an important United Arab Emirates. Extension. Oh, that makes this even more fun. Yeah. Yeah. This is an important issue during the transportation of oil and its mm. products from offshore oil wells to land. Yeah. It's like a guard dog for the oil transportation. In addition, the robot is dedicated to monitoring border areas uh -huh, mm, and sure. providing marine, listen to this, providing marine internet. Yay. It's a hot spot. It's a hot spot for it's the big old, <laughs> for the, uh, the mermaids and the merwomen. Or yeah. The mermaids, mermen. Yes. The deep underwater Russian military bases can now get on Facebook uh, hopefully they don't give away their location through their Tinder profiles like they did in <laughs> Ukraine. Uh, exploring and un and studying underwater archaeology. Underwater okay. archaeology, They're, huh? Yeah. What do they know? That's, what that's are the, the underwater know? military bases. They're looking for Atlantis mm. and hydro hydrography, hydro mm. hydrography, hydrography, mm. as well as studying seawater. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I like how they put that at the end. Yeah, I can also just like look at the water if I want. Sure. Uh, so this is like a giant uh, catamaran type looking deal uh, with solar panels all over it. Big old sails. It's a nice flashy red color. So, you know, it's Russian. It's amphibious. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh, it's, it is interesting how it says it's amphibious because... Amphibious means on the land and on water, does it not? I'm pretty sure that's what amphibious means. It did not say anything about how this can crawl up onto the beach. It, uh, it didn't. It didn't say how they can collect the 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 pro the particles of this thing and laser it to something else and change it. Yeah, it's got a frog laser right on there. Yeah, so that's what they don't want to uh, tell you. You know, yeah, <laughs> and. 
So this thing is basically an autonomous, you know, uh, vessel that cruises around the global ocean <laughs> and is pretty much capable of doing anything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they listed a lot of things that it's capable of doing, um, in, including bringing Internet to the mer people, <laughs> which is nice. That's, they're so kind, those Russians. In, yeah, in a World yeah. War Three situation, you want the mer the mer people on your side, I guess. Because what do we uh, have? You know, yeah. what, what does what does NATO have? He's gonna need to. Yes, it's NATO versus the Putin Poseidon Alliance <laughs> and dun, and dun, the dun. Uh, Scythians, the resurrected. You know, Russia really is. They're they're building the super soldier army based on all the mythical creatures. And, the Scythians, uh, yeah. You know, they're not and telling the us what now. Yeah, they're not telling us what our our Western artillery will be or, mer, or not you know, men, uh, military. It's obviously a big part of human history is when we are able to build ships and become seafaring and expand yeah. across the waters and things like that. And uh, it makes sense that Flippy would have their own time where he gets to set off onto the ocean to explore for himself, not just find, you know, adventure and riches, uh, but also find himself in the the the, uh, the adventures at sea there, and uh, Putin's helping him do it. So what are you gonna do? Mm, I don't know. Maybe we should just argue amongst ourselves. <laughs>